I'm sure it's not as bad as you think. You don't know what happened last night. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I could never forgive myself. All right, you stay here. So if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. You're overreacting. Are you kidding? She wasted enough of her So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. I don't care about Trish. Calling me a witch? <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh. You sound like Isa. Isabella, the archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl. A good researcher. And unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. 
I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No. We're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm, that's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am I? I? There's something there. Looks like there's something here. Fool's gold and costume jewelry. But the kids will love it. So did you find anything? I sure did. Look at this. We're rich. Hold on, hold on. We said everyone gets an equal share, so... Oh no, I couldn't possibly accept any of your treasure. You mean it? Absolutely. I knew it right away when I saw you. I said there's a real hero. Please, please, it was nothing. I only did what any reasonable person would do. Thanks for finding the treasure. We're going to show it to Manu. I don't know how you got Diego and the rest of those kids out of the way, but I'm glad you did. Now we can get to work. Where should we start? Over this way. Thank you for your help. And I hope you find Isa. I'm worried about her. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Maybe something about the cross can show you where Isa went. There's an inscription. Look through me to find the way. Next 
encontraste la pieza que te ha another the ink is badly faded it's difficult to make anything out savage outrageous betrayal and this isn't parchment paper it's thicker Animal hide, or human, maybe. There's the next cross. Looks like there's something here. Wait, I can push this. When I first laid eyes on Angel de la Cruz, I knew I met a man of worth. When he spoke, my heart shook. Its tremors vibrated for days after his first sermon. That evening, God himself told me to set out to prove I was the chosen one. I left the next morning, seeking to prove my worth.
Isabella! Are you in here? Isabella! Yes. Who are you? Guillermo sent me to find you. He's worried about you. <sighs> Poor Guillermo. He's probably killing himself with guilt, too. <laughs> I guess we were both right. There was a hidden crypt, and I did have an idealized view of what it would be like. How did you injure yourself? I was on a rope when the tremor hit. The shaking threw me into the walls, the rope snapped, and I hit the water badly. Uh, I think my ankle's broken. In order to get you out, I'll have to go back for help. It will take several people. <laughs> What's so funny? Can one of those people be Sarah? I'd love to see the look on her face when she has to admit that one of Manu's fantastic stories turned out to be true. I'll suggest it to Guillermo. Now, I don't think I can get out the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to look for another way out. I'll be right back. And I'll be right here. May Huascar's knowledge of the two afterlives be sufficient to guide us, if we arrive in either. Preparation for the ultimate test, I have begun to explore the crypts and tombs found near the mission. They are challenging and dangerous, and I am slowly improving. My reflexes are quicker, I'm getting stronger, and I dare say my eyesight in the dark is improving. I know there are others trying to prove their worth to Brother De La Cruz, but they will not best me. I was not worthy. Forgive me for my hubris.
Lara, was that you? It was me, don't worry. I have returned from my training, however, Brother de la Cruz has disappeared. The sisters of the mission have no idea where he went. No matter. I will wait for him to return. My heart is pure. My head is clear. I am ready for the trials, and I will prove to him I am the chosen one. I must be on the right path. The air is getting fresher. Don't tease me. I've spent the night in a crypt. A wheel lock pistol. Never mass-produced and banned in the Holy Roman Empire. Ostentatiously decorated, a bit much for a missionary, but maybe a fitting weapon for an egoist such as Lopez. There's some damage to the pommel, but otherwise the weapon seems in fine condition. I know now that I am not the chosen one. Now I fear I have endangered the lives of Brother de la Cruz and the sisters of the mission. They do not know that the hollow earth surrounding the mission is home to demons. Cruel, hissing creatures with twisted claws and sick yellowed eyes. I came to this place to purge them from the world in the name of Angel de la Cruz to win his favor and earn my seat at his side. But I have failed. I could not contain this evil. And now it is out, and all warning of it will die down here with me. Isabella, I see daylight. You'll be out of here in no time. You're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Please tell me Isabella's okay. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, I could not stand to inconvenience you any further. And besides, Sarah tells me you have something important of your own to do. Please, let Isa's friends take care of her from here. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. I'll round them up right away. Where is she exactly? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Wait, the crosses? Did she find something? She found the crypt Manu told her about. She did? That's wonderful. Oh, I, I'm so happy for her. I should have gone with her, and I feel terrible about her ankle. But despite that, this is the adventure Isa's always dreamed of. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'll make sure of it. And speaking of Manu and his crazy stories, if you're looking for something hidden around here, you should probably talk to him. It worked for Isa. He's usually hoarding court around the mission. And thank you again for finding Isabella. I don't know what I would have done if... Just make sure she gets back safe. so many places. Even Maya ruins, I'm telling you. <laughs> you must be Manu. Who's that? Who's there? She's the one who found the treasure. Is that right, Diego? Well, well, what can I do for you? I overheard you telling the children about Maya ruins. Finally, someone who pays attention. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ha! I knew it, I knew it. No one ever listens to old Manu, but I was right. So you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. I recognize something in your voice. The thrill of discovery, of finding something, some place unseen for hundreds or even thousands of years. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? There's no feeling like it. The taste of stale, dusty air still gets my heart racing. These modern people, these so-called realists, they close themselves off from such wondrous possibilities. They can't even imagine some of the things I've seen. Ah, that I would give anything to see again one last time. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. You could at that, yes. Do you remember where the ruins were? Now where were they? I remember a pool fed by three waterfalls. Uh, I wish I could give you better directions, but it's been so many years. I should be able to find it, and when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, if you could do that for me, touch that, that history, I would, I would be so... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. The leather-bound volume of prayer seems to be from the late 16th century. It's in remarkable condition.
Come see what I have to trade. What are you looking How do you do? for? How can I help you, Lara? Come find me if you need anything else. St. John was the last of Jesus' apostles to die, and the only one whose life didn't end in martyrdom or suicide. As a writer of five books of the New Testament, he's the patron saint of theologians and scholars. Because of his long life, he was able to take on several students who continued his teachings after he died, establishing a line of religious study that remains unbroken to this day. Rumors have long persisted of monsters, for lack of a better term, in the area surrounding the mission of St. John. The locals refuse to discuss these sightings. They grow sullen when they are mentioned and usually scurry off and hide in their homes. However, it is my fervent belief, once we have converted the populace, they will see these monsters as nothing but superstitions, shadows that disappear in the Lord's light. These are two legendary trees which complement one another. The Chechen tree secretes a substance which is poisonous upon contact, and the nectar of the Chaka tree can neutralize that poison before it results in serious burns. The fascinating thing about these trees is that they always grow very near to each other. According to legend, two brothers, warrior princes, fought a battle to the death over the love of a woman and died in each other's arms. They begged the gods for forgiveness, and it was granted. Kinich, the kind one, was reborn as a benevolent Chaka tree, while Tizik, the hateful one, was reborn as the poisonous Chechen tree.
Sounds like trouble. Ugh, smells like rotten eggs. Sulfur. Sheila here as well. to get on that platform. to create an explosion. <laughs> the Maya Tree of Life, also known as Yashe, plants its roots in the underworld and then passes through our world as its branches extend all the way into paradise. Lurking somewhere inside the world tree is its Samye, a bird god who is said to know all the secrets of the three planes of existence through which the world tree grows.
Shit! From its roots in the underworld, sheltering bats, it grows straight and true. Its trunk holds the realm of men fast, and its branches spread its white leaves across the night sky. seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. Create an explosion. to get on that path. It's not far now. Just have to get up there. to get on that platform. <laughs> Have to get on that platform. to get on that platform. seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human.
to climb.
I didn't think these places would be trapped, caught a spear through the abdomen, hurts to breathe, pray for me. Oh God, what is that smell? Maya God is very dark brown, almost black, with black-rimmed eyes and facial features that seem to be melting at their extremities. This can only be Exua. He's the patron god of the cacao bean, which accounts for his coloring. Also, because ancient Mesoamericans used those beans as currency, Exua became by extension a god of merchants and of trade. Interestingly, when he first appeared in the lore, he was a god of conflict. one of the beheaded gods of the underworld. Thank <laughs> you. 
find a way up. are feeding on the corpses. Have to find a way up. Find a way up. seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. Find a way up. Have to lower the water level. Have to lower the water level. I am Chirilo Serrano, and these are likely the last words I write. Andreas Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz, as he has called himself these last years, has finally and fully gone insane. His demands have grown, becoming more grueling and grotesque as we labor to build his crypt. The construction is almost complete. 
I know I will die when it is done, Lopez in a brief moment of clarity told me himself. Damn that box. Damn what it has done to the man I once, and sadly still, admire. When storms crash and rivers swell, direct the waters to quench the thirst of the gods who toil above and below. to lower the water level. is a king to the Maya version of a gnome or leprechaun. They're about as high as an adult's knee and wear traditional Maya clothing. They are created whenever a farmer builds a little house on his property for them, after which they'll help the corn grow for a period of seven years, making it rain and chasing off predators. They're usually invisible, and in spite of their benefit to the land, they like to play tricks on or frighten humans. Don't call one by name, or you'll summon it from its home, and it won't be happy with you.
now to get out of this horrid smelling place. I should be close now. This pendant is decorated in the Incan tradition, but the effigy clearly appears to be an Aztec warrior. That shouldn't be possible. Several hundreds have renounced their pagan beliefs and turned to the teaching of Catholicism. Our work here is different. The heathens must learn the language and then the teachings. Most are not receptive, but only come looking for conversion to the true Lord from fear of what might happen to them if they do not. No matter, all paths lead to God's light. In the evenings I rest easily, comforted by the conviction we will save these poor lost souls. Excerpt from the Journal of Beltran, Ordinius Predicatorum.
carry any more. I hope you've shined up those dancing shoes, Manu. I found the ruin. It was Maya, an ancient aqueduct. It was wonderful, just as you'd imagined. I knew you would. Now, tell me everything. The ruins had flooded because of the earthquake. I swam through tunnels teeming with peril. Go on. I found a vast cavern and a stone tower with massive heads carved into its sides. The Lords of Shibalba, right? Incredible. What else? It must have been an aqueduct of some kind. And you'll never believe this. Most of the machinery is still functional. Water wheels three men high turned as smoothly as the day they were built. It was amazing to see Manu to be so close to all that history where no one has set foot in hundreds of years. <laughs> I see it. I can smell it, feel it, taste it. You, you've brought tears to an old man's dry eyes. I, I can't thank you enough. I, I'd like to give you something. Manu, I, I couldn't. Please, I insist. It's the first relic I ever found. It's beautiful and intricate. A decorated skull. I'd like someone who has the same passion for exploring that I did as a young man to have it. Don't ever let anything kill your sense of curiosity and wonder. I won't. Thank you, Manu. An adhesive made of tree sap and powdered bone hold the jade and other gems in place within the wearer's teeth. A crude drill, perhaps made of obsidian, would have been used to delicately carve out the notches required to hold the jewelry in place. Isabella, are you feeling better? You didn't tell me you're Lara Croft. I... It's nice to meet you, and thanks again for helping me. We'll figure out this place and what the stone faces mean. And Manu was right about the crypt. What else is out there? 
I can't wait to find out. Hello? Lara, thank you so much for finding Isabella. Oh, it was my pleasure. She was right. There was a hidden crypt there. I know. She was right. So was Manu. When she's feeling better, we will go excavate the ruin. Together. Eighteenth of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset. And then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. Someone decided this depiction of Christ's death needed a little sprucing up. It's amazing how the beliefs of disparate cultures can become intertwined over time. This describes something nearby. I swim with a turtle, seen only by those who let fear fall away.
This Spanish document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. No tenemos donde más guardarla. ¿Cuándo terminará Juan? Ya conoces a Juan. Primero la sí. This document outlines the goals and works of the Mission of St. John. In addition to their individual spiritual goals and their outreach programs, the people here are clearly passionate about contributing to the nearby communities. Education, literacy, healthcare, even donating a portion of the food they raise. Después el trabajo es peligroso, hermana. Porque la hora más oscura es la doña de Jesús. Ruego sea de la muerte de la humanidad. Tener esperanza de nuestro país. De una vida mejor. Now this is a fascinating concept, the Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion, and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. Thirtieth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez has just returned from a nearby village, and with him came a group he says will follow him and help us with construction. There was something strange about his behavior. I attributed it to the long journey through the jungle. That night, however, he admitted what had been bothering him. They followed me, he whispered. The others. He walked off. I spent that sleepless night worrying about his deviations toward madness.
Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyards. I don't know why. One is the same as the next. Some might be a little more orderly, with neat rows, or they're like this one, where it feels more natural and unplanned. These collars were used abroad the Nostromo, likely ferrying the captured indigenous people back to Spain to be sold as slaves. I wonder how it ended up here. I wish I knew why Isabella was trying to climb the cross. Hijo de nuestra madre Virgen, ¿cuánto deseo que mis hijos y yo podamos parecernos a ti en pureza de corazón? En el amor de Dios. The door closed and a silence settled, so great and so vast I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room. Walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. Twenty-fifth of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces.
and under his wings you may seek refuge. Under his wings. Twenty sixth of December, sixteen o three. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John, son of Zebedee one of Jesus' apostles, also called the Beloved Disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the Three Epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He is the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes, the sun will be darkened and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They had prepared the bell tower and worked the fields planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient, We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, 
we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Tardaremos eterno. Dos años. Un paso a la vez. Ya a la vez. Como si tuviéramos elección. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. Looks like it's from the 17th century. There's a whole mural under here. Cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right, let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. A 
it's Lee Young to have all that responsibility. Found something? Must yeah. be pretty hard for him. I Jesus takes imagine. up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Have to Latte, use the light beam to follow the stations of the habitus. cross. Walk while you have the light. Have the light so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. this way. Oh, what happened to these people? It looks like the light activated something. It was a little rusted. This must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frescoes. There's a woman in this one. Look, someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. Looks like he's accepting the cross here. Have to use a light beam to follow the stations of the cross. These people look like they were tortured. I don't think this was just a crypt. Not necessarily. 
necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be Station 6. Have to use the light beam to follow the stations of the Looks cross. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. He's carrying the cross. I think he's taking up the cross. Jesus, nailed to the cross. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with mummies? Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the Panther. Mm-hmm. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around when Lopez was. She's wiping his face, I think. That inscription. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. They're lifting him. They're carrying him. His disciple wall him in and then bang. No witnesses. The hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. Totally consumed by it.
Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend, but he was obsessed relentlessly. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for, my world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Laura, go! Stop him! now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. If there's any change in our status, he'll tell us. Spanish Jesuit missionary Andreas Lopez, a member of Trinity, was dispatched to find and retrieve this silver box of Ishel rumored to be in Paititi. Instead of bringing the box back to the Trinity High Council, he confessed a theft to his old friend, the Emperor of Paititi, Sinchichika, Unaratu's ancestor. Together they entered into a plot to hide the box from Trinity. Lopez went west to Paititi and founded the mission of San Juan, leaving a path of clues stretching back to Cozumel for Sinchichica's descendants to follow when the time came. But while building the mission and the deadly crypts below, the box's power corrupted Lopez's mind. He came to believe that no one was worthy of the power of the sun. He died alone in the dark, consumed by the power of the box. Soon after, disease severely wiped out the population of Paititi, taking Sinchichika and knowledge of the path of the clues that led to the silver box with it.
The silver box of Ishel, unlocked by the key of Shakshal and used to summon the god Kukulkan. Funny how something so slight could be fundamental in creating or averting the end of the world. Spanish Jesuit myth. Gotta hand it to them. This is a heck of a place to live. and Lara Croft was last seen in the church. Find them! They just left her alone in the church. It was chaos in there, obviously. But this is Croft. There was something more important to... Shit! It's over. He's got nowhere to run. Something, maybe. I'll see what's up. Got it. Where are you? I'm in the cane field. They can't see me. Keep your head down. I'm on my way. Priority one, 
Find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. I should have killed you in Siberia, but Dominguez was against it. That's on me. But I'm gonna fix that mistake. Now. Let's go. I'll take point. It's just around the corner. Let's switch up. Mind if I cover? <laughs> Glad nothing's wrong with the truck. What?
Jonah! Got this. How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where's the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. Stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay.
I can't believe how much Etsley has grown in such a short time. He's going to make a great king. Yes, but he's lost both his parents. So did you. I think he's handling it a little better. That's just how it looks from the outside. So much responsibility on his shoulders. I can't imagine. It's not just about Trinity anymore. No. Now it's for Paititi. Lara, it's good to see you again. <laughs> you too, Uchu. How are the preparations going for Etsli's coronation? Not well, sadly. Shortly after you left Paititi, a group of hunters pulled Zan's body from the wilderness. Zan? Was he one of the men you sent out? To retrieve the champion's bow, yes. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But, would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etsli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahual. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Etsli is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay. Point in the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry. I'll do my best to get the bow. If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there.
Let's get this bow back to Uchu. Champion's bow, the final piece to herald in the future of Paititi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Nawal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Paititi. But since Amaru took power, the Nakwa has been more active. You believe Amaru commands the Nawal? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etsli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. The sound of the king's horn has called you all to bear witness to a new beginning. Welcome to the ceremony of kings. Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it so that you will enjoy an equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it, so that you will enjoy responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etsli, is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Pai Titi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli, son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your king! How is the plan coming together, Atsli? We have options. 
Uchu. Kukulkan's army will follow the Sakpe to the Great Stone Bridge to reach the pyramid. If we approach them head on, we have the best chance to intercept them, but we could easily be overwhelmed. If we go in this way, it'll be more secure, but our timing would have to be perfect, or they'd slip through our fingers. Can we do both? If we approach head on, I can go around the other way and act as a sniper. They'd be trapped. No approaches without risk, but I believe this is the best option. Good. Then, on your order. Gather the troops. Let's go. Where we part, your path lies that way. Lara, I want you to have this for luck. Etsy, I can't. After today, the eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. Thank you. Jonah. You too, little bird. Etsley gave me half of Unaratu's eclipse amulet. I get the moon, and he kept the sun. I suppose this means he expects to remove the darkness over Paititi. Tall order. I hope I don't let them down. You said that the Crimson Fire was her destiny. Okay. Don't touch ah! Commander, this is Cardinal 2. The bridge has been taken out. Good. Team leaders coordinate with vehicular support. Cardinal 2, you're their eyes. Copy that. Remember, people, 
Any structural opening is a potential enemy vector. More helicopters. Their shield. Trinity's hunting them. This is Cardinal A. Visual on hostiles. Changing course heading to 105. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. Was this Unaratu's destiny? You're the Crimson Fire. I think we're supposed to work together to defeat Kukul Khan. Descendants of the creators of the key of Shaksha in the silver box of Nisha. 
In a century since Lopez stole the box 400 years ago, they lost their purpose. Now they protect the site where the ritual of the silver box will take place. Even though their minds have faded, their purpose remains intact. They will fight and repel anyone entering the holy city of the serpent. They are led by a priestess known as the Crimson Fire. She represents Shaksha, and along with Ishel, she is charged with completing the ritual of the silver box and guiding Ishel with her sacrifice of the sun's power. Once it is completed, the Crimson Fire and all the Yashiel will return to the heavens where the key in the box were forged. is mine to complete. They've chosen wrong. It's all wrong. No. It was always theirs. Give us the box. No. Never. I must protect Baititi. We all create destiny. Not just you. All of us. Together. Not letting it be through. Hold them at all costs. The 
completed, you will all be saved, and those who gave their all will be rewarded. Dominguez to stop the ritual.
Let the sun dim. In the darkness erase the world we have known. Let the shadow pass. And the light shine again on the world of our creation.
take control of our destiny. something to say about that. <laughs> my loves! Will you hold still for a second? Uh, oh, yes, my white queen. One... <laughs> Can I see? 
yours. There's you, and me, and your dad. Where are we? Hawaii. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. With our weakness, fruity. If you had that power, what would you do? My brave girl, who is not expecting a Jaguar attack. Where shall we go next for our real future? I hear uh, the Antarctic is lovely this time of year. Dad! Oh no, well then uh, perhaps the salt flats of Utah. Oh, Richard. I know where we're going. You do? Hawaii! Oh yes. Yes, that could be really nice. <laughs> well, in that case, Goodbye, Mum. Goodbye, Dad. Catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love, now, is in it. After today, the Eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. I protect by it. Unuratu, my mother, a warrior, a rebel, a queen. She will be venerated for generations. I miss you. Now, we will heed her spirit to reunite my Titi. Thank you. So I'm head back to Kwakiaku tomorrow. Really? Missing the jungle. Off in search of the elusive fish tree. <laughs> uh, Abby and I are headed to the coast for a few days. 
I'm glad. <laughs> what about you? I think I'll stay here for a while longer. And uh, restore a few more artifacts? Mm. I don't know. So what will you do? I don't know. Etsli will help me figure it out. He'll let me know what Paititi needs to rebuild. Wow. I'm done searching. I want to be around the living. All right. Don't you have to pack or something? <laughs> now you are stuck with me till tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome to stay as long as you wish, Lara. Safe travels, Jorah. Once Paititi is restored, perhaps I can join you and learn more about the world beyond Paititi. Anytime. You just say the word. You too, Uchu. If he wants to. So, Jonah, Lara tells me you have a girlfriend. Uh, uh, we will come to the wedding. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, whoa. <laughs> That's sweet. Why don't you show me the plans for the Yes.
I had it all wrong. I thought that taking control of my life meant venturing out to do something extraordinary. I thought I had to fix everything. But the mysteries of the world are to cherish more than to solve. I'm just one of their many protectors. I'm not sure what the future has in store, Jonah, but whatever adventure's on the horizon, I can't wait to meet it. I'll try not to take myself too seriously. Tea, Miss Croft. Lovely. For now, it just feels good to be home.